Today, I'm showing the popular L298N Dual H Bridge Motor Driver. Right here is the main IC, the L298N, which handles the power control for two DC motors. Below that, we have the voltage regulation section, including a 5-volt regulator and two capacitors. Here's the terminal block for motor outputs, allowing you to connect two motors independently. Next, we have the input signal pins, four in total, two per motor, to control the rotation direction. And this is the main power terminal block, where you connect the motor supply and logic voltage. The H-bridge inside the IC uses transistors to send current forward or backward through each motor, letting you rotate it in both directions. The L298N driver is widely used in robotics to control DC motors or gear motors. It allows you to drive two motors independently, control speed with PWM, and change direction, making it ideal for robot wheels, arms, or mobile platforms. Now I'm going to perform a test to find out the minimum voltage at which this DC motor starts moving. I'll slowly increase the voltage from one volt up to 12 volts using a regulated power supply. This helps define the motor's starting threshold, which is useful for power efficiency and precise motor control in robotics. Now I'm going to test the motor direction control using the input pins of the L298N driver. I'll also demonstrate how to disable the motor using the enable jumpers. To test the inputs, I'll jump the 5 volt signal included in the power terminal block to the direction pins one at a time to simulate the control logic manually. Pay attention to the current and power consumption on the power supply it gives a clear picture of how much the motor draws under load. We also measured the temperature of the driver, and as expected, it heats up during operation, especially when driving a load. This is normal for the L298N, but it's a good reminder to always check for overheating in continuous use. Now I'm going to test the motor using PWM control. I'm sending the signal from the Arduino to one of the direction inputs of the L298N driver, while the other input stays low. It's very important to activate only one direction pin at a time. If you turn on both direction pins simultaneously, you may short the outputs and damage the driver. With the PWM signal active, the motor speed changes according to the duty cycle giving us smooth and adjustable motion.
Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Arduino and electronics content. If you'd like to support the channel, you can donate via PayPal or check out the Patreon link below for exclusive content and behind-the-scenes projects. See you in the next one. Blast off!